We made it to Blue Bucket. We're up on the top of the hill. We're starting to get some buckets full. We're gonna do some testing and see where's the best so we can maximize the gold that we're gonna bring out with the best material. We're on top of a mountain and there's river run rocks where it had gotten pushed up. They said this was at one time at the bottom of the ocean. So this been pressure ridged all the way up and the gold came with it. So now we're on top. We got all this, these cobbles in here, but in, intermixed with all these, look at these big rocks. Got red layers down in there. Crazy. We got a net of digging. Just scooping the dirt. So they've got these little sections. You can see these red lines where you get one little, I think they said it's 16 feet. We got a red line there, and then we got another red line working down that area. That way when you're up in here, they can make sure everybody has a good area to work along this bench and not one person's taking up everything. And then if you want to claim your area, you just kind of leave your leave your stuff in here that's kind of the rules of the LDMA you just leave your stuff out in that marks your area no one else will be digging in it for the next day well here at Blue Bucket they've got ponds that you can research into we've got Netta and mom running over into the high bank now we only brought four full buckets off the hill so four full buckets four two gallon buckets off the hill we're gonna see how we did. You never know with four buckets. You can either hit a nice pocket and do really well, or you can miss and get nothing. So we only had a couple hours today. We just got in, and then tomorrow morning we're gonna be back out at it. We're gonna probably try and run quite a few buckets and see if we can't get some good blue bucket gold. Clean out time. Yep, we got at least three in there. There's a, there's a few pieces down in there. We didn't get skunked. Well, just so long as we didn't get skunked. Three pieces right there. Two. Oh, I can see him. Let's see if he goes in the They're just hanging out. Yep, just hanging out right there. We got one really nice piece and we got some other flakes. It's the morning of day two. Yesterday we got a little bit of color out of this spot. So we're gonna come up here, we're gonna run quite a few buckets. We're gonna see what we can do before it gets too hot. So if you're liking what you're seeing, we've got a little bit of color already. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Likes really help us out in the algorithm. If you're not subscribed, make sure you give us a subscribe so you can see all our videos coming up. But today we're gonna be just running bulk material. We tested the few layers. We didn't really see that much of a difference in the layers, so we're just gonna come and work. We're gonna be starting, we're getting our dirt way up here. We got mom over by the ranger. We're gonna be, we gotta haul it all the way down. There's the blue bucket camp. You gotta come all the way down to the ponds here in Oregon. You can't just high bank down here. You gotta high bank down in there, and there's our stuff right there. All right, the boys are up top. They're starting to clean the bedrock, get some rocks out of the way, rock picking, getting some fresh dirt that we can just shovel. Mom and I came down and we're gonna just pour the dirt next to the machine because we didn't bring enough buckets. That way we can, when we run later, we got plenty of material to run. So we're just gonna be making a pile. We've cleaned up this area. You can see where we started, about here. 
and we've worked this area down. And we've started hitting some pretty big rocks, so we're gonna go run what we have, check out and see what we got. And then another day, we're gonna come out and work that bedrock down, we're gonna vacuum it out. We'll see the difference between what we're getting in the overburden versus what we're getting in the bedrock. So if we're getting better gold up top, better to gold down below, which I'm assuming it's gonna be down below, we'll know. That way we can test and test and test and test and see. So we brought a couple loads down. We've got all our buckets here. And then we've got a pile. We only have so many buckets we can put in the Ranger at one time. So we had to come and dump it. We've got a pile. We're gonna run all of that. That's our upper spot. And then once we run that, we're gonna see how we did. And then another time we're gonna go up there. Our next video probably we're gonna be working and we're gonna bring the Makita and we're gonna bust out the top layer of bedrock. And we're gonna scrape that bedrock and try and do as good as we can do on that bedrock. And then we're gonna compare the two to see, is it really worth running the overburden or is it worth moving the overburden around and just hitting that bottom bedrock layer? For the short amount of time we're gonna be up here, it's probably gonna be worth it to run them both because we're gonna have to shovel the overburden one way or another. Let's just do a quick reveal. Good little piece in there. Hey, the bigger yeah. pieces. Not bad. No, well, because that's gold. It looks weird to me. Let me zoom in there. It's that yeah. rose gold that they have. It is. It's a different color up here. It's a nice piece, though. Yeah. One, two, three decent ones. I don't know if that's gold or if it's a piece of schist. That just looks like a piece of schist to me. Is it hard? Oh no, it's gold on the other side. Oh. That's crazy. Yeah, you must be careful. All right. So we finally got her cleaned up a little bit. I mean, we didn't do too bad, but we didn't spend a lot of time. And gold is such a weird color, you know. We only worked that overburden. So now we only worked the overburden. So the next video, we're gonna be going back up there we're gonna be scraping all that bedrock down and then we're gonna run it and we're gonna compare these two clean outs to see if it's really worth running the overburden or if the bedrock is so much better, maybe it's worth just discarding a little bit of gold to get to the bigger gold faster and work it harder. So thanks for being with us. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Like we said earlier, the likes really help us out. We really appreciate it when you guys do that. So we'll catch you later. Hey everyone, it's Chris. And Netta. If you like the video, drop us a like. And subscribe. Thanks for being a part of our everyday.